Step one, inventory the components. The M57 firing device, the M4 electrical blasting cap assembly, the M40 test set, and the M7 bandolier. Step two, select the firing position that offers coverage and obstructed observation of sites selected for emplacing the ammunition. Step three, prepare the munition for employment. Place the bandolier on shoulder or around neck. At this time, you're going to ensure the firing device is on safe and remove dust covers from it and the test set. Plug the, test, plug the test set into the firing device. Move the firing device bell to fire position. The press handle of the firing device with a firm quick squeeze observing flash through the window of test set. Candidate states, I see the light operate Operator holds window near eye and shades with other hand. I see the light. Move firing device bell to safe position. Place firing device with test set attached and bandolier. Remove electrical blasting cap assembly from bandolier. Starting at dust cover end of electrical wire, uncoil approximately one meter of wire. You do this by holding the shortening plug dust cover against the center of the chest with the left hand and circle um, firing wire at shortening plug end cover base with the index finger and thumb of right hand. While holding right hand to chest, extend left, arm, left hand to arm's length, pulling firing wire through. While holding the right hand to chest, extend the left arm or correction, through uh, fingers of right hand. Lock the elbow and pull all slack from the firing wire. Allow the shortening plug cover to lay on the ground while tying off the firing wire. At one meter mark, fold firing wire to center to create a loop large enough to go around the stake fixed object at firing position. Twist wire loop over index and middle fingers of right hand Push loop through the circle. Secure firing wire from shortening plug dust cover side of munition to the stake or fixed object at fire firing position. Ensure no friendly personnel are near the blasting cap during circuit test. Uncool enough wire to place the spool out of sight. Place the remaining spool of wire under a sandbag beneath, behind a tree or in a hole in the ground. For this one we have a sandbag. Remove the firing device with the test set attached from the bandolier. Remove shortening plug cover from connector of firing wire and the end of the test set. Plug connector of firing wire in the test set and move firing device safety bell to fire position. The press handle of firing device with a firm quick squeeze observing flash of light through the window of test set. Candidate states, I see the light when squeezing handle and indicator lamp in the window of the test set flashes. This flash indicates the blasting cap circuitry is, sa is satisfactory. I see the light. Place firing device on safe. Disconnect set test set from firing wire. Replace shortening plug covers. Did it disconnect Test set from firing device and replace dust covers, repack and bandolier. Remove spool, firing wire, blasting cap from barrier used during the circuit test and walk tactically while unrolling wire 
from firing position to sight selected for munition. So for moving tactically down, you're going to sling your weapon and you're going to bend over at the waist, maintaining a low profile on your way down to the actual Claymore setup site. All right, once you get to the start of the barrier here, you're gonna get down and you're gonna high crawl the rest of the remainder of the route. All right, assume prone position and remove munition from, remove munition from bandolier, open legs at a 45 uh, degree facing front rear. Ensure face of munition marked front towards enemy and arrow on top of munition points to the enemy. Push legs into the ground with the munition facing direction of fire. In windy areas or when legs cannot be pre pressed into the ground, spread them as far as they, can, they will go so they are facing front, front rear and mind will not tip. At this time, step four, you're going to aim the munition. Select an aiming point on the ground, at ground level in front of the munition. Position one eye about six inches to the rear of the sight. Um, aim the munition by aligning the two edges of the sight with the aiming point. For this one, you can use a pen or um, tongue depressor or anything given to you at this time to help you aim the sight. Step five, arm the munition. Remove the blasting cap from the spool's cavity. Secure the firing wire approximately one meter from the blasting cap inside the munition to the stake. To do this, hold the blasting cap against the center of the chest with the left hand and circle firing wire at the base of the blasting cap with the index finger and thumb of the right hand. While holding right hand to the chest, extend the left arm Extend the left hand to arm's length, pulling wire, pulling firing wire through fingers of right hand. Lock the elbow and pull all slack from the firing wire. Place the back, blasting cap back into the spool's cavity until ready to fire. At the one meter mark, all right, at the one meter mark, fold firing wire to create a loop with a large enough circumference to go around the stake. Twist loop over index middle finger of right hand, push loop through the circle created during previous step. Secure the firing wire of the blasting cap side of the munition to the stake or fixed object at the munition emplacement site. This presents the, prevents the munition from being misaligned if the firing wire is disturbed. Unscrew invert shipping plug primer, priming adapter near a stake or anchor. Remove blasting cap from spool. Slide slotted end of shipping plug adapter approximately one inch into firing wire between crimp connection and blasting cap. Pull wire through slotted end of adapter until top of the blasting cap is firmly seated in bottom portion of shipping plug adapter. Screw adapter with blasting cap into detonator well. Recheck the aim of the munition to ensure that the point of aim has not changed. Camouflage the munition and firing wire while moving tactically back to the firing position.
At this time, for step seven, seat cover, remove firing device and test set for bandolier, remove dust covers, plug test set into firing device. Remove shortening plug dust covers from connector of firing wire and from end of test set. Plug connector of firing wire into test set. Move firing device safety belt to fire position. Place the eye near, of, near the window of the test set and squeeze the handle of the firing device quickly to observe the indicator lamp flashing through the window of the test set. Candidate states, I see the light. I see the light. Move the firing device bell from fire position to the safe position. Disconnect test set from firing wire and replace uh, the firing wire and the test set shortening plug dust covers. Disconnect test set from firing device and replace test set dust covers. Repack test set into bandolier. For step 14, fire the munition. Remove shortening plug dust cover from the end of the firing wire. Connect the firing device to the firing wire. State Claymore twice. Move the firing device safety to fire and quickly squeeze the handle. Claymore, Claymore. Boom. At that time, your time will stop for emplacing, emplacing a Claymore. The grader will state whether or not you may time or tell your, whether you're a go or no go for time. Verify double the verify zeros on the clock again, and as soon as you touch the firing device, time will start for removal of claymore. Step one: removing an unfired uh, mine. Disarm the mine. Ensure the firing device safety belt is in the safe position. Disconnect firing device from the firing wire. Place the shortening plug on firing wire and dust covers on firing device. Place firing device in bandolier. Remove firing wire from stake or anchor at the firing position and place the firing wire forward of the position. Step two, recovery, recovering the mine. Walk tactically to mine assuming a prone position and check for booby traps and tampering. So since you'll have your weapon at this time, you'll move it a low ready all the way down to the position of the mine. Once again, once you get to the start of the barrier, you'll get down into the uh, prone position and high crawl the rest of the way. You're going to verbalize that you're checking for booby traps or tampering with the mine. Checking for booby traps and tampering. Remove shipping plug from detonator well. Separate the shipping plug primer adapter with from blasting cap. Pick up the spool and insert the blasting cap inside. Place the spool back on the ground. Invert the shipping plug primer adapter and, and screw the plug end of the adapter into the detonator well. Lift mine from emplacement and secure legs, repack mine and all accessories into bandolier.
Remove the firing wire from the stake, anchor, or base of the emplaced munition. Pick up the spool, wrap the firing wire on the spool as you move back to the firing position and secure the shortening plug and dust covers inside the spool. Ensure all components are packed in the bandolier. Time will stop.